How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse. Yes, I'm back in Perth. I visited Sydney last week for Vivid and Robo Wars Sydney 2015 and it was kick-ass. So much fun. But I'm back in Perth and I've got with me this. So I know quite a few guys have been asking for us. This is eSun 3D printing filament. Uh, cheap as chips 3D printing filament. I'm talking $22 per kilo or something plus shipping. Like, yeah, that's nuts. You can buy something like five of these for one roll of up filament. So, naturally, let's see how it prints. So just a quick tour around the box. The Esun box is quite nice, well built, uh, nice and solid. Has a little window to show you what color you've got in there, as well as a label. So I bought black ABS at 1.75 mil, and yeah, nice strong box tells you stable melting pointing <laughs> good round shape uniform diameter tolerance consistent colors um, and yeah that holds true to be honest um, let's get it out of the box Blah. so this is the spool uh, actually quite interesting to have a clear spool you don't see that very often on um, 3d printing filament and yeah it's a well-built spool and actually has I haven't really seen this actually has little screws holding each half together so you can you know, once you're done, you can harvest yourself some M6 screws. So here, in terms of odor, the actual eSun filament has nothing. It's it smells. You know, it doesn't smell at all when it's in its uh, stable state. Melting ABS does have a bit of odor to it. You know, I'm not going to lie. The verbatim up and eSun. It doesn't matter what it is. ABS does have a smell when it's being melted. But just do it in a well ventilated area, and you'll be fine. It's nowhere near as bad as some other black ABS I've come across. So don't worry about it too much. And yeah, so that's the look of the thing, um, and let's get to the printing. So like last time, I printed one with the fan door closed, one with the fan door open, one with the temperature mod, uh, so I dropped it down to about 240, and then I did another one with the temperature mod, dropping it down to 220, and you'll see why I did this later. So the model I chose for actually printing this filament was this. So this is the 3D Benchy. Uh, the guy got in touch with me, um, so this is a new torture test for 3D printers, it's a cute little boat. Uh, it's not much of a torture test in terms of, you know, you're not really likely to see it fail, but you are likely to get a good indication of your printer's uh, accuracy and quality by printing this. So, yeah, so I've got little notes on each one so I know which is which. So yeah, let, let's see what the results are. Alright, so you know the drill by now. The first test was done with the stock temperatures and the fan door closed. And as you can see, it's pretty melted. Uh, and removing the raft with some pliers was impossible. <laughs> uh, yeah, so completely welded at stock up temperatures, but fair enough, that's something like 260 to 70 degrees. But the eSun filament did say it was rated up to 260, so um, I'm beginning to think that's not really the case. It was obviously too hot, there was bubbling and spitting from the nozzle as it was extruding at these temperatures, so yeah, too hot at the stock temperatures for eSun Black at least. So with the fan door open on stock temperatures, the finish was roughly the same, maybe slightly better, but it's still far too hot at these temperatures to give a very good extrusion result. And yeah, again, the raft was completely welded to the to the shape. And again, with the supports as well, they were very much welded to the plastic and very hard to remove. You can kind of get in with the pliers on this one and remove it. It's not as welded as the one with the fan door closed but it is pretty stuck. You're going to have a tough time and probably going to dig your fingers open um, trying to get that raft off. It is very well stuck. But yeah, it does work. So if you absolutely have to use it, you can kind of do it with the fan door open, but definitely not recommended. Verbatim was far more manageable at these temperatures. Next, I used the temperature mod to change the extruding temperature to 240 degrees after the third layer. And there is a clear difference in quality for this piece. It wasn't spitting and bubbling. The edges look nice and clean, and it's definitely on the way to looking better. But again, the raft was very hard to remove. So this is just showing that the Eton filament in ABS needs very low melting temperatures, possibly lower than most other ABSs on the market. Uh, I had to drop it very, very low indeed. So yes, the raft does remove. That little front bit with the boat, I think, is kind of because my up mini is kind of screwed at the moment, and it's sticking too much there. It might have been just too close to the bed. But yeah, so it is a far bigger improvement at 240 degrees, but it's still not enough. So that's what prompted me to actually drop the temperature further and do another test at 220 degrees. 
So this was the final test print at 220 degrees. So that is so much lower than the up stock temperatures of 260, 270. But you can see the actual finish of the plastic is much nicer. It's uh, far more glossy, it's got a nicer fill at the surface, and the raft actually came away not too bad. So it's, it's pretty pretty insane how low the temperature has to be to print, print this ABS. Like 220 degrees is pretty low for ABS, really, if you're trying to print without warping. And I'll, I will give it to them. The Sun filament didn't warp at all, so that's, that's a plus, and it's actually getting quite cold here. So yeah, no warping at all, but the finish of the parts isn't really close to what to expect off the up brand plastic. Um, it's not quite as nice, but on the other hand, you can get five times as much plastic, if not more, uh, in eSun than you can in the up brand for the same price, like five rolls versus one. So the cost difference is astronomical. So if you're printing lots of big stuff and you don't care about the service quality being slightly lower, then yeah, go for the eSun for sure. At 220 degrees, the supports are easy to pull away. They're not completely welded, but at stock temperatures, yeah, don't try to print this filament on the ups. It's just too low a melting temperature. So yeah, that's the eSun filament. Um, so as a disclaimer again, I got this from Hobby King. Uh, they didn't get in touch with me or anything. I bought it with my own money. So this is just me testing stuff for you guys so you know what to expect. And yeah, it's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with it, but the temperature is very low for ABS. Yeah, it does say on the box up to 260 degrees. I, I would be inclined to disagree with that. 260 was obviously too hot for it. So 220, 230 is probably something you should be gunning for for this eSun ABS filament. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I actually really enjoyed doing these filament reviews. So I actually got in touch with some suppliers and I've got some samples on the way. So if you're a supplier watching my videos, please get in touch with me because I would love to test your filament do an honest review and so people can find out about it. So I've got some recycled ABS and some recycled hips on the way, so that's 100% recycled, which is really quite cool because, you know, often you print stuff and you think, I'm a little bit guilty because I just printed another owl or another Yoda head. But if it's 100% recycled, you feel a little bit less guilty. So I'm going to test that and see how it goes. Also going to be trying to get some of the protopasta materials, so like the stainless steel PLA, that's crazy stuff. They have magnetic PLA, which has the iron in it. Things like that. So I'm getting hold of all these crazy filaments. I'm also in the market for a new printer because the ups are great, but I'm just a bit limited in materials and print size. So I'm probably going to be going with the Robox, maybe, or there's a new one out called the Duplicator i3, which I'm trying to get hold of. So it's based off the RepRap i3, but it's made by Wanhao in China. And it's a, it's a full metal i3 design. I actually quite like the look of it. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you again here soon on Maker's Muse. Catch you later.